Last month, a young goose-beaked whale died in the Davao Gulf, and researchers pulled out almost 90 pounds of plastics inside it. This is just one picture of the extent of marine pollution in the Philippines. Today, the World Bank, along with the Royal Norwegian Embassy in Manila, is co-hosting a conference in marine plastic pollution. And to talk to us about this, we have in the studio once again Norwegian Ambassador to the Philippines, Bjorn Janssen. Thank you for being here, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, now we know ma marine pollution is a global issue. It is especially bad in the Philippines. We are among the top five plastic polluters in the world. Can you give us an idea of just how bad it is here? Well, I think uh, the numbers we have indicate that around 8 million tons of plastic uh, is discharged into the ocean every year. And uh, of the countries in the world, the uh, Philippines is ranked between the third and the fifth country as a source of pollution. So this is a really, really big number. I think every day it's calculated that 48 million uh, plastic bags are used uh, in the Philippines, amounting to 17 billion plastic bags per year. And many of these end up in the ocean. And this is a, gr a great concern to us. But I think, uh, you know, uh, people are changing their views on this. And uh, so that's, that's the purpose of today's conference, to take stock of, of this problem and see what we can do, do about it. Well, Ambassador, you actually went to Davao, is that right? And you saw this, uh, this whale that had about 88 pounds of plastic in it. Tell us what that was like. What was the experience like for you and, and for the locals as well? I didn't actually go to see it, but I hope to, to be able to visit it okay. in, in April. Uh, we will go to Davao to have a look at, at, uh, at this, this whale. So the curious thing is that this same type of whale, a goose-beaked whale, also died in Norway two years ago, also from plastic. Now, this is an amazing animal. Uh, it's the mammal which can dive the, the furthest down in the oceans, about 3,000 meters, uh, staying 80 minutes below water. Uh, and uh, basically, they, died, they die from thirst. So having all this plastic in their stomach uh, makes it impossible to d digest food, and that, that deprives it of water. So it's really a tragic uh, thing. And in Norway, this death of this whale caused a huge outroar and really uh, put uh, a focus on this, on this topic. So the Norwegian government in the coming years will spend a lot of money on this problem. Uh, we will work with the World Bank, like we do here in the Philippines, to try to find solutions to this problem. And that's the purpose of today's conference. Right. Certainly, it is a good thing that your country is stepping up efforts to combat problems like this uh, by helping developing countries like the Philippines manage their waste. What can we do to manage our waste? I think, you know, Filipinos are becoming more and more aware that plastic is a problem. But from the point of view of economics, you know, you have the poorer demographic. Families, they can't afford to buy bottles of shampoo at a time. They buy them sachet at a time. So it still has to make economic sense. That's, that's perfectly right. And I think uh, it's, it's uh, difficult to solve a problem, you know, by coming, you know, with a moral uh, story, right. a moral solution when it's, it's more, you know, it, it has to make economic sense. Now, one of the things that, that has uh, surprised me a little bit is, you know, in, in, uh, in my country, most of the waste is actually incinerated. Uh, by, by the municipalities around the country. And this, this uh, incineration of, of, of the garbage actually produces energy. Uh, I, I've noticed that this is a debate that is also starting in, in the Philippines. So I suppose that is one part of the solution. Uh, it's, it's not an one answer, I think, to this problem. Uh, it's it's a, you know, a variety of actors and, and solutions that have to be found, including government, the private sector, and people themselves. Now, I notice, I notice among uh, Filipinos an, an increased awareness of the problem, and I think we should ask companies, you know, to, to reduce their waste. Uh, I myself choose companies which, uh, you know, serve something which uh, has less plastic and, and less waste. And I think if uh, everyone uh, does that, that's, that's you know, one, one way forward. Okay, well, um, in October, you're going to have the sixth Our Ocean Conference, which be, will be held in, in Oslo. Tell us about that. So the Our Oceans Conference is uh, uh, an effort actually started by the former U.S. Secretary uh, John Kerry uh, a few years ago, ago which is uh, having uh, private sector, government, NGOs, uh, and international organizations coming together to, to look for solutions uh, to the problems facing uh, the oceans. So our Prime Minister uh, will host this conference in Oslo uh, this year, and next year it will take uh, place close to the Philippines in the Republic of Palau, uh, just a three-hour flight uh, from here. So uh, we at the embassy are very much involved in that, that conference. And uh, uh, the purpose, again, is to, to find solutions to this problem. Right. Well, today there is going to be a conference right here in Manila to discuss marine plastic pollution. What do you want this conference to achieve locally? 
the purpose of today's conference is really to take stock of the knowledge we have about the problem and to uh, discuss possible solutions with government, uh, with uh, the NGOs in the Philippines, the World Wildlife uh, Fund uh, is an important partner for us and the World Bank in, in the Philippines. Uh, the private sector, Dow, Dow uh, Chemicals, will be there to speak about their programs. So it's really, again, trying to combine uh, all the various actors uh, onto the same topic. Right, and will you be able to include communities and ordinary people eventually? That's the hope. I mean, the, the, the Filipino government in today's conference has a strong presence uh, from the Department of Energy uh, and the Department of Environment to various other local authorities involved in the cleanup in the Manila Bay uh, issue. So I think uh, it should, it's a good starting point to, to, to find solutions to this problem. Right. It's a, just a start, but a very, very long journey. Thank you, Norwegian Ambassador to the Philippines, Bjorn Janssen, for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you.